Great Beacon. It's available here on Sirenet. It is the SNB1. And many of you have asked if we could take it apart. And I'm going to let that happen right now. I'm not going to do it because, shucks, nobody trusts me with a screwdriver. Let's go across to Chris and see what he can do with one. Let's check it out right now. So Chris, I present you with this beacon. Take it apart with great safety and comfort. Here we go. Our SNB1, or as it's better known, our Sirenet Beacon 1 series, happens to be an amber class 1 self-contained beacon. It's roughly about a six and a half inch profile for its height, so it'll clear roof lines, headache mount brackets, or also works great on side posts on cherry picker applications. Has a polycarbonate base that's affixed to a flat surface with three mount points, so you can run screws or bolts through it, whichever you desire. Or if you'd like to affix it onto a one inch standard thread pipe fixture, it has that incorporated into the base assembly here. It's a three wire pigtail, have a black ground, red lead, and a flash pattern change wire. So I'll show you this here in a few moments, but it allows for the beacon to be adjusted by the end user to a flash pattern of your choosing. The dome itself is removable. It's held on with two Phillips head screws. I'm gonna go ahead, remove those now. A little bit of a twist here. The amber dome comes free. Between the two is a thin gasket. It's the same diameter as the polycarbonate base here. And this is just to help keep grime and condensation from getting into the dome and into the base here. So basically a bit of a weather seal. The SNB1 gets its amber potency from the center diode tower assembly right here. It's done of a total of four diodes, one on each side of a rectangular post. The diode assembly tower and electronic base here can be removed from the polycarbonate base. And actually it's a bit helpful to do so if you are going to be mounting this onto a one inch pipe thread. There's three Phillips head screws here. A nice feature with the assembly here is that there's actually no metal on metal contact between the screws that affix it to the base here. It has an epoxy coating on the top to help seal and keep all the electronics safe. So if you have the camera zoom in a bit here, you can see it's got a nice epoxy coating here all over the electronics. The three wires are soldered into the corner input here so again, a lead, a ground, flash pattern adjustment. If I spin this around here, you can see the bottom point where they're connected in. And actually, a neat little feature here is that the diode tower and its bottom aluminum fixture here is actually a heat sink. So this unit here is an aluminum fixture. The diode heat produced then goes into the aluminum down through the bottom and then dissipates out into the open area of the base here. So well thought out by the engineering group on our beacon here. Give you a better look inside the polycarbonate base here. And you can see the three posts that the board sits atop. And again, so going into, if you're going to pipe mount it, you can pull this free. Nice that it took the gasket with it. That'll free up the center hole there. On the bottom of the unit, there's a little bit of a dot here that's in the poly molding. You can then drill this out about a quarter inch diameter, run the wiring holes through the new hole, and then you can drape them or tie them, fix them around whichever way you want to put them on to the pipe to run it down on your installation. 
So this would screw down, then the wiring would run down the side. So a nice little install option there for you. So it's really a double purpose for the mount. So for reassembling the SNB1, I'm gonna take the wiring harness, reroute it through the center here. Since I'm not mounting it onto a pipe fixture, not drilling any holes into the base here. Pull that through, there we go. So I will now realign the tower assembly with the mounting posts. So now with this, realigns the three screw holes in the electronic assembly to the posts here. Go ahead and tighten the screws in to get it started. There we have it. So that's been tightened back down. You can see the spacing here for the harness. We'll go ahead and take the gasket, realign it around the edge here. And for the dome, again, it affixes on to the base here with two screw points. So one here, one here. We'll realign the mount holes. Really what's nice with it being a beacon in 360 degrees of the same light, there's no front, there's no back, there's no side. So you can put the dome on any way you want to, just as long as you mount it with the two screw holes lined up. All back together, one piece again. I'm gonna go ahead, take the pigtail, connect it to 12 volts. So again, black to ground, red to positive 12 volt source. There we go, firing away, nice and bright. See it has good potency all through the dome here from the small diode tower that's inside. And again, with the four diodes, you can see that it's an even spread of light all the way across the beacon. So really, no dead spots to be seen anywhere when it's mounted up. Flash pattern adjustment wire here. If you tap it momentarily to 12 volts on the positive side, it advances the pattern. So you can see, even though it's an LED spec with a pattern set like this, it really mimics the predecessor of the strobe beacon. And actually with the SirenNet B1, it's a great replacement for old halogen and old strobe beacons if you're looking to do some updating. Again, every time you tap it to 12 volts, advances the pattern. Has several patterns built in. So there's fast, there's slow, so really something to grab attention in any environment. That's the last one I'll go ahead and put it through. Can't let you see all of them. Half the fun is getting it yourself and doing the pattern setting before you do your install. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me here on SirenNet Television for an inside look at our SirenNet B1 amber LED beacon. Since you were so kind to bring it over. Oh, now he comes to me. Back over to you, Stuart. Well, thank you, Chris. It's You're very welcome, kind of you. Sir. And from all of us here at Sinet Television, have a great day.